Huge news! Last night, Midjourney version 5 dropped. Midjourney's claiming that this version makes huge advancements in the photorealistic realm. I thought it would be a great opportunity to look at five obscure photographic styles that can take your work to the next level. All right, let's get into it. All right, our first style is photojournalistic photography. It's a style of photography that focuses on capturing candid, spontaneous moments. It's supposed to be raw and unposed. So our first prompt is the one, I mean, look at this. Look at the realism. Um, this is a woman in a, a photojournalistic style. Um, here's another one. It, it got a little bit uh, literal and gave her a camera. Uh, this one too. But these are absolutely beautiful. And, and the skin, the detail in the skin is phenomenal. Uh, lighting's great. Um, again, this, this shouldn't look like it's, uh, it should look very natural lighting, being that it's photojournalistic. Um, my next, I did photojournalistic octopus. I mean, this looks like it could have been photographed um, by National Geographic. Beautiful stuff. Um, looks like it threw a black and white in there. The detail is amazing, um, but photojournalistic style. It's it it. You should definitely incorporate this for a natural look in your uh, renderings. Here's one of a motorcycle. Again, it's it's in its own element, in its own environment, and uh, it like it has all that rust on it. Um, and it's it's just detailing the world as it appears in front of the camera without manipulating it with lights or posing um here we go cheeseburger through the cheeseburger i mean this could be look like it was food photography and it was set up but it could also be like hey i took a photo of my burger you know i had beautiful light uh at, at the restaurant and um you know just kind of threw it down and and took a picture i got my my wrapper from my fast food it's, uh, but, um, the beautiful natural light is what, what's given it. Um, and a forest again, all natural light. Uh, you know, these have great amp. This one has great ambient lighting to it. Very natural. Um, again, shooting right into the, to the sun, getting a lens flare. And, you know, obviously the, what we're evoking here is that somebody was, you know, walking through the woods and, oh my gosh, look at how the light is, is backlighting these ferns. Um, another one, just beautiful dappled lighting in the forest. Uh, very natural setting. Yeah, so there we go. Photo journal, journalistic photography. Put that in your prompt. Here's a great style to use too, to get that really vintage look. I mean, this goes beyond the old Polaroids. This is daguerreotype photography. It was an early process uh, for taking photos created in the 1830s, and it used a copper plate which was sensitized to light um, and I think exposed with mercury. Very cool, very, you know, gives you a vibe of, of extremely old uh, photographs. Here's the woman, um, uh, this mid-journey uh, uh Midjourney's version of a, a woman uh, photograph with the daguerreotype and another one. And, uh, you know, they, they even have the, the costumes correct um, as what you would expect to see in the 1830s. Um, here's an octopus. How cool is that? All the texture, not only the texture of the image, but also like the cracking of, of the paper over the years. Um, but there's still a lot of detail in it. It's, it's really cool, and it has that that uh, sepia tone to it. And look at just how evil that is. It is so cool. I mean, imagine uh, printing out these for, for Halloween uh, decorations and things. You know how much I love Halloween. Here's our motorcycle shot on a daguerreotype. Very cool. Very aged. Very weathered. Um, here's the burger. So... Some colors starting to come through on the burger. I guess uh, Mid Journey just just couldn't handle. Uh, is that a two hundred year old cheeseburger? Um, but very very cool. Um, and then the woods. I mean, how creepy is this? This is like straight out of a Tim Burton movie. 
Um, it's beautiful. It's detailed. And uh, just re reminds me of the Hudson Hudson Valley uh, painters, you know. It's very untouched wilderness here. But beautiful stuff. Yeah, and that's the daguerreotype photography. All right, our next style that you should try is gel lighting. Gel lighting photography. Um, what this describes is a gel is placed over the light source, either directly or indirect indirectly, to create a desired effect. For example, a blue gel might be used to create a cool uh, moonlit effect, while a warm amber gel may be used to create a golden sunset effect. Typically, gel lighting is used inside of a studio um, and a portrait portrait photography. Um, and of course, in theater and things like that. Uh, so it's not just photography, but um, look at the results you get. You know, you can get some very dramatic. I know people um, use cyberpunk in, in uh, prompts a lot. You know, this is, uh, you can um, get that kind of neon-y feel off of uh, the gel photography. So let's go through this. This is, uh, you know, a woman shot under uh, gel. Uh, this is an interesting one because it looks like, you know, uh, maybe a warmer gel, but there's also some kind of reflection in front of her. Um, oh, we jumped right to the octopus underneath a, a gel. Um, and, you know, this gel may be removing the, the uh, it may be countering to remove um, the blues of the water. Um, here's a green gel over the octopus. Uh, another green one. Uh, look at just how beautiful we're still getting the detail, but, uh, you know, it's adding a, a whole nother dimension of, of color to, to our subjects. Um, here's a warm gel put over a motorcycle with the, you know, a, a key light that's, um, <clears throat> that's blue. Uh, look at this one, just crazy neon, you know, I have gels all over the lights here. And that reflects so well on the chrome. Um, again, another uh, cool gel put over this one. Uh, these will give you great, great results within um, Mid Journey. Look at the excitement on this one. I mean, it's got water splashing, orange gel on the uh, on the uh, motorcycle. Now we're getting like a warm off off camera gel uh, that is. Uh, you know, giving a nice warm rim light on our burger. Uh, a blue backlight. Look at the contrast off of the, the warm orange bun. And then, uh, you know, the red burger underneath. This is fantastic. Uh, again, this is... Sometimes your gels just are hitting back walls for accent. And this one has a red gel off to the back while your primary light looks like it's, you know, warmed up a little bit, but not a real strong gel. Um... Same as this one, you know, real, real warm gel off, off to the right, uh, warming this thing up and, you know, uh, giving it a, uh, just amazing texture. Look at how far mid journeys come. Um, all right, this, uh, you know, so this is where mid journey can take you to the next level. You couldn't really light a scene like this with a gel, uh, obviously, but you know, it's giving just a weird uh gelled light um inside the forest um same here just now this one's got um it almost looks like a reflection like i'm looking into a pond that has leaves on it and it's reflected trees but hey look at this this is like gelled lighting you know imagine setting this up in real life like going out there with all these uh strobes or or um you know, it would probably have to be strobes to get this kind of power. And, and uh, you know, you have orange gels and green gels and just beautiful stuff. Um, same here. This is uh, kind of, uh, this is more naturalistic, but, it, you know, you can definitely sense that they're, uh, they're, they're giving it a blue light. And, um, you know, you're, f you're feeling some, some sort of gel lighting here. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. There's gelled light photography that will definitely bring some interesting results within mid journey all right here's a fun one to throw into your prompts this is storm chasing photography 
Um, this type of photography that involves capturing images of severe weather, you know, tornadoes and lightning and thunderstorms. Um, typically, it's can um, it, it's it's tornadoes uh, as as they have the most dramatic look. Um, you know, I guess you could have hurricanes, but you know, with hurricanes just come a lot of a lot of uh, rain. Um, but yeah, let's look at this. This is uh, the um, it's a woman and and the. In the style of storm, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, storm chasing photography. Um, oops, let's uh, get on there. And here's another, another woman. Very cool. There's an octopus in storm chasing. I, I don't know. He's outside the water, but yeah, you know, still really cool. You know, you get that really um, diffuse ambient lighting with storm chasing photography. Um, this one is wild. I love this one. I love it. He's like, hey, I, I want to see what, what storm's going on up here. You know, why can't Tori's showing up in my backyard? Must must be some kind of a excitement. It's a joke for all the weather buffs out there. Um, here's a motorcycle storm chasing photography style um you know yeah i might pull over and take a picture uh, look at that, that storm off here in on the side that's that's so cool um um and this one's interesting you know it it kind of uh gave me a little bit of a, a retro feel to it you know lifted blacks in in this one i like it 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 matches the the motorcycle style um Another storm chasing motorcycle. Burgers. Burgers in storm chasing. Come on. They go together. You you know these storm chasers are wolfing down burgers. Cheeseburgers left and right. Um, but kind of interesting, you know. Hey, maybe you're doing an, an advertising campaign or something. And, you know, a, the power of the burger, you know, this could, go, you know. It gives you something unreal that that really talks to your client. Um, check that out. I, it's a burger on a bed of grass with lightning and Metallica. No, I I don't know. It's uh, fantastic. Storm chasing in the forest. You know this. Oh, look at that road. Like oh, you just get a beautiful uh, specular kick off of that. Diffuse lighting. I love it. This is, uh, you know, the quiet before the storm, but very cool. There's storm chasing photography as a photography style. All right, try that out. All right, I know you guys are going to love this one. This is infrared photography. It's a type of photography that involves capturing images using light in the infrared spectrum rather than visible light. The results are often surreal and dreamlike. I mean, it is beautiful stuff. You know, it, it's a range of tones and colors that are just not visible to the human eye. Um, so it's it's like what's happening in our world, but you don't really see it. It's uh, it's it's the wizarding world, Harry. All right, so here are some uh, here's a woman's portrait in infrared photography style. You'll love this stuff. This this is like it just takes black and white photography to a whole different level um, because it's not quite black and white. But it's it's definitely not color. Look at how beautiful that is and how surreal. Um, very cool. Very cool. And here's an octopus in infrared photography style. Look at that. That is just awesome. I love that. I love it. It's it's crazy. I I don't know if this guy looks like he's under the water or 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 he's evolving real quick. He's uh he's checking out the 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 dry land. Here's another one that's so cool, you know, infrared. Um and this is what we associate infrared photography with a lot is uh natural scenes. Um you can get those pink trees and and orange trees. Um and again, remember this isn't a light that's visible to the eye. This is uh you need a camera to pick it up, and typically they take the uh, there, there's a uh, there's a filter that they remove off of the sensor to be able to do these uh, infrared um, photography styles. 
and can't say the burgers look very appetizing in in the infrared world. Not sure I would be eating that, um, but <laughs> it's it's just a burger out in a field in infrared style. All right, I like it. Um, but yeah, here's the the nature. This is what we uh, associate infrared photography with a lot. Uh, a lot of nature photographers are doing it to get a real different look, a, a real uh, um, just otherworldly feel to their photography. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. All right, there it is, infrared photography. I hope you guys are enjoying Midjourney version 5 as much as me. I think it is beautiful, and, you know, coming from a photographic background, I really like the advancements they made. I hope you uh, go out and try these five styles. I'd love for you guys to share them with me. Uh, I'm going to get a Discord server up so uh, people can start posting. A lot of people have been asking me about that. Um, but for now, if you could like and subscribe and comment on this video, it would be a great help. But uh, yeah, get out there, get creating and, uh, you know, start prompting.